Concentrating solar thermal power is solar reflectors, typically mirrors, direct the sunlight to one central tower and we collect the heat and then we'd either make electricity with it or use it for industrial purposes. The sun is a you know, vast source of energy and so what we're trying to do is to capture that energy and harness it. The value for CSP is you have the ability to store the energy in terms of heat much cheaper. I wear different hats. My expertise is materials manufacturing and modeling. Most of the projects that I manage are heavy in, in these areas. Most of my role is to uh, manage projects in optics um, related to CSP, in this case, the mirrors or lenses. A lot of the uh, physics of CSP optics is very similar to another field that I used to work in. My job is to identify risk, mature the product, and to work hand in hand with the rest of my team. One of the most important aspects for project to be successful is make sure we negotiate it right. So we define uh, the goals right, we define the milestones correctly, we define the deliverable correctly. It ranges from very novel projects to large and more complex projects. One that's actually really cool is actually um, a project that uses drones to fly over these uh, mirrors. It allows us to speed up the characterization as opposed to uh, manually inspecting it. One of the projects I'm doing is a uh, calcination for uh, cement. It requires high heat. I think we'll be successful and that's going to pave the way for other high industrial heat. One of the projects is silicon carbide based heat exchanger that we're developing for high temperature applications. Most of the heat exchangers for high temperatures are metals. Now we are putting a new material technology there. And we're learning lessons so we could increase the efficiency, drive down the cost, paving the path for tomorrow's energy needs. You'd be surprised at how exciting it is to work with researchers who are different backgrounds than you but also have the same goal. You'd be surprised at how much you would learn. I remain excited after 10 years.